everyone. Um, I thought I would do a makeup tutorial. I did in my previous video the stuff I'm using recently. Um, so I thought I'd show you how I slap it on. All I've done this morning is wash my face and moisturise. So this is me in natural. So as you can see, I have, especially for tip board, I have really dark bags under my eyes. So after moisturising, the first thing I do is I slap my foundation on. I'd for an everyday look, I don't use primer because I just go to work and if I sweat it off by the end of the day, so be it. It usually stays. I've never had a problem. It's one of three that I use that I mentioned. It's the Garnier BB, the Healthy Mix Serum, or the Normal Health Mix by Bourjois. Um, I love all three. These two are more coverage. It's like uh, I think it's light to medium coverage. I don't know because I'm not really don't use a lot of foundations. But I really like them, they make my skin feel great. And the Garnier one, if this is great for just slapping on first thing in the morning, it just feels great. But I'm gonna use my the the normal the original bourgeois today. I tend to whack it on my fingers because I find that's how I best apply it. So I just put a little bit on to just quickly do this. This smells really good by the way. If I'm doing this wrong, someone please comment below. I've tried using foundation brushes, but I've got the, you know, the original ones that are more flat and you paint it on. I find, though everyone says it gives you a flawless finish, I, it's streaky with me and I end up having to use my fingers in the end anyway. So I whack this on. I'm usually a bit, um, a bit gentler, but I thought I don't want to drag this video out. Right, so that's my face done. I don't know if you can tell the difference with this rubbish lighting but my skin's really smooth and even right now. It feels lovely like I said. Second step for me is concealer and I use a raised paste and I've just got, I did have a really nice concealer pen but I lost it at my friend's house in London so I've just bought a, a W7 eye brush, um, what do you call it, eyeshadow pen but it's kind of really flat so I like it for this because I used to use my fingers but now I've got nails I find it gets stuck behind them so I just sort of put it on with this and then my finger so this stuff as I mentioned in my last video is really tacky it's really thick um, I mean if I do one eye you might be able to see better and then I sort of blend it in you sort of spot it on with my ring finger Though you can see me really bright, I've had to shut all the blinds just so I'm not that bright, so I'm back, it's a bit dark for me. Um, so, I don't know if you can tell. If I tip forward a bit, you can see that that eye is really dark. That eye's a lot lighter. Like I said, the lighting's not fantastic. I'm not careful with this stuff. I just, I tend to slap my stuff because I slap everything on, not slap my stuff. Um, because I find I blend it all anyway. Right, so I've got my base done. That's my foundation and concealer done. The step that I used to do last and I now do like first is my eyebrows because I find I used to do them last. I don't know, sometimes it looked like I've got too much eyeshadow on or something and it just looked a bit wrong, so I try and do it first. I usually use browsings when I'm making the effort, but on a day to day basis, when I'm being in a bit of a rush, I use it's actually a 17. Um, eyebrow pencil it's I went f there was no the only particular reason I went for this one it was the color um, I said in my previous video I'm like an ash brown and my eyebrows are quite ashy as well so all the other colors I could not find they just look like chocolate this one's perfect for me it's the right color so I just sort of quickly picking these up because I'm really really light So that's them. Ah, yeah, you can actually tell the difference on here now. Um, I find it completely defines my face. I'm just so... My hair's... This, this is my natural colour, but for some reason my eyebrows, I just don't think much my hair. Um, and then because I'm not using browsing, browsing has the wax in it, and like I said, when I'm in a rush, I just bought some really cheap, still got the price on, look, one ninety nine. can you see it? One ninety nine. Cheap mascara, I don't even know what brand it is. Laval. Mm. Um, it's just a bog standard clear mascara and I just use it quickly just to make sure these stay in place all day. So that's like my everyday. Next I do the eyeshadow. 
And I always use Benefit Creaseless Cream. It was a, an offer on a while back. If you bought a product, you got one of these for free. Um, so I got one and then bought three. Absolutely love it. Um, it's a really sort of nude colour. I can't remember what it's called. Slipping and Dipping. I don't know if they still got this one actually. But that, oh, that thing there. That is the colour of it. And I find. I don't usually use my fingers, it's just because I've stuck it on there. I wipe up my jeans. I find this gives a gorgeous base coat and it's a really nice um, primer. I find it makes everything stick longer. I, um, you can get these in other colours, you can also use them as like eyeliner. Uh, but obviously because this is such a nude, I just use it for this. You can't really see the colour, but like I said, it's just, supposed to, it's just supposed to be nude. I've got it all over my blue trousers now. And then after that, I tend to like bronzy colours, and I got this in the um, Feel Unique beauty box this month. So I've only been using it for like about a week, but I've been using it every day and night. It's a bronze. Let me... It's on that finger there. I find these are the most flattering colours, bronze colours. I tend to... I got a palette um, from, so I'm just tapping it out. I got a palette from Virgin V a few years ago, and it's these colours here. And you can see that, ooh, so awkward backwards. Um, these two colours here, which is like a an orangey bronze and a dark bronze, I wear them to death, and this now is like the new one that goes with it. So I just tap it off. And I tend to only stick to the out corners of my eyes. Um, I don't think I've got small eyes, but I haven't got big eyes. But I've got really, I've got really saggy eyelids, <laughs> so they really hang. So I'm one of those that when you look at me straight on, you can't see my eyeshadow because my eyelids just like proper hang like that. So I, when I'm applying it, it looks like I'm going really, really high. But it's because when you look at me straight on, it's just um, it's really cool to see it. So it looks really dark at the moment, but bear with me. I'm one of those, but people say, put a little bit on and build up. On the opposite, I put loads on and take it off. But I just blend that. This is just a blending brush. It's just a cheap one. I haven't got into brushes yet. I will be. Um, Mac, never bought this stuff in my life because there isn't anywhere local. I've been hearing about Sigma brushes. So if anyone can recommend brushes, I, must, I, I don't know if they can be better than this. I absolutely just... You see, just love this blush. I have put this on quite heavy because um, I can't see. And then what I tend to do is now I've got that bronze on. I go in here, and I go for either that brown or that brown there. Just to sorry, I'm just looking at the post because I'm thinking about it. But I tend to use that just to on the outer corner slightly. So if I just pop it. Just there. I use a little bit, but I think it makes a big difference. Oh my god, I look like a drag queen. Honestly, this is, is this lighting. I'm not that, that bad. Unless I am actually this bad and I'm going out every day and not realising. <laughs> just use me in a sec. No, it looks nice. <laughs> I'm gone. Alright, once I've done that, it's my eyes. I do blush at last. Um, I always do blush at last, I don't know why. So, between two things, either a pencil, liner, or a liquid, I find I can't put pencil on. It just it just looks too fat, shapeless, messy. Um, it's one of those, if I've got the time, I'll take the time. But I use, it's Rimmel Glam Eyes Professional Liquid Liner. I've, I think this is like the fourth bottle I've had. Um, if you can rec recommend any others, I really like liquid eyeliner. Um, I want to try one of those felt tippy kind of ones, but this is just a liquid one, so let me just quickly put this on. I tend to not go all the way to the inner eyes because I find it really makes my eyes small. I start it from, um, you know, where the start of the pupil is. That's I don't go all the way in. I always do a little. I always do a little flick. I find that really opens your eye up. Right, there we go. Let's see what that looks like. Ah, beautiful. Next mascara. Um, like I said in the last video, Maybelline 
uh, to be honest, Rimmel. I used to always buy Rimmel. So Rimmel and Maybelline equal. I've never used not Rimmel. Rev, yeah, Rimmel. Sorry. Um, Rimmel mascaras. I've I think I've, the last five that they've brought out loved them. Same with Maybelline. So I've got the Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes mascara. There you go. Um, just just good. I don't see the point in spending lots of money on mascaras at all because I find cheap ones are as good as I, I mean there's there's a difference between cheap cheap and medium cheap and I think I, I, I honestly can't see better than these so let me just quickly put that on I usually do this a bit better but I don't want to bore you right. and I usually do the you know the wiggle <laughs> put me at the bottom of your lashes and wiggle out but I'm rushing and I've got it all over my eyelids. And then I do the underneath. It depends what mood I'm in. If I put um, eyeliner underneath. Most of the time I don't. I just find it closes my eyes up. Um, sometimes I do. If I want to be a bit more vampy at work. You never know. But today, not fast. Then blush is the last thing I do. I've been using Coralista. Oh, this is the... Um, it came out last year and they've got one out this year. It's Benefits Powder Time Lover. Where you get, I think it's like £19.50, which for Benefits really good because you get three um, blushes. So we've got in here Dallas, which is like a plummy bronzer kind of blusher. Um, can't remember what that one's called. What's that one called? Ooh. Dandelion. It's like a light pink. Uh, that's really nice because I'm quite pale. And Coralista, which is like a peach. I absolutely love that. But I've been using Dandelion for the last couple of days, so I'll just try that one. Because I think we're getting a bit more wintry, and I just bought some really nice brown boots. <laughs> and I find um, this is starting to go better with my clothes. Oh, bloody hell, I've got... So that's that. So what's... Oh, lipstick. Um, like I said, I never wear lipstick, ever. Kate Moss has came out and I thought, right, Laura, you're 26 now, grow up and wear lipstick. Because everyone keeps going on about lipstick and I thought, fine, I'm going to get into it. And I absolutely love these. This is the number eight. Um, I can't remember if there's a nude one. I think this is the nudest one. Fleur de Force was going on about it. And I wear this every day. I just absolutely, rah, 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 <laughs> absolutely love that. I think it's really creamy. So this... Oh, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. This is my everyday look. This is what I wear to work, to the pub, to Slimming World, as I go there. Um, and I just think it's very natural, but not too nude. Because I find, like I said, because I've got heavy eyelids, if I don't put any eyeshadow on and I put eyeliner on, it, it just looks awful. I have to have something in the corners just to sort of open it up. And like I said, I have to go really high because I've got saggy eyelids. So, I hope you all like my everyday look. Sorry this has gone on for a long time. Greatly appreciated and let me know what you think about my everyday look. I don't think it's over the top. I think it's just about right for the day. So, um, hope you enjoy. Cheers.